October 5th, 2017. I don't know if that sun's gonna be in the eyes or not. But I gotta go change the boiler out this morning. Uh, it's seven. It's gonna be. It's almost seven o'clock. Quarter to seven. I'm on my way there now, and uh, it's a little tiny house with cast iron radiators. Uh, got a oil, burn, oil, um, gas-fired conversion burner and an old oil burner. I gotta take it out. Put a little. Uh, section gas boiler in there is what I'm going to put in there and take that old beast out of there. Chimney's got a liner in it, so. I'm on my way there, try to get you some shots. I left the dog home. Pretty nice. It's going to be nice today, but I don't know, I just left the home in the cage. So you're not in the truck all day by yourself. Try to get you some shots. It looks new. I got it off right there. Start draining it. I got my holes on it. See if that takes it, that ground. Upstairs. Alright, guys, I got it all stripped down, ready to rock and roll here. Yeah? Got a rag in the back. I'm gonna go right into this with meal adapters, copper meal adapters. There's the return, and then there's the supply. I took the expansion tank out that was here, and I'm gonna put a new diaphragm one. I'll put it, put it up on top here, strap it in somehow, or I'll do something with it. But she's all apart. Gas pipes here. Once I get the new one in, I'll start piping it. But uh, he's got to send that back, I guess. That's, uh, he's been renting that from the, from the gas company, I guess. So that's going back. I should be able to get this up with the uh, stair climber when the guy comes with the with the new one. We'll go right out there with it. I took the door off, so it's not going to be in the way. The feeder, the feeder's like brand new. I'm going to leave that. The emergency switch was all was all disconnected, so I, it wasn't even connected in here. I just took it out. Not even being used anymore. You don't need it on the gas. And once the other one comes in, we'll start um, piping it off. It's in pretty good time. It's uh, 8.30. Took me an hour and a half to get it ready to get out of here. It's not bad. I want to show you this adapter here. It's the expansion tank. So this thing here has got a, uh, it goes up inside the tank like this, right? So when you're going to drain it, you open this drain, and you take that little, that little plug, that little plug out of there. I got to put a new plug in there because that one was, uh, kind of stripped, but these things are expensive. I'll save it. I'll use it somewhere. Um, what happens is... When you, when you put a hose on this and you go to drain it, it'll pull a vacuum. If you take that little port out of there, it lets air up to drain the tank out, the expansion tank. Most of them won't have this. So this is a this is a good, they're expensive buggers. See it's got two holes in it. And then this, this port here goes all the way up to here. Uh, I'll save it. I don't know why I throw it out. It's, uh, I could use it on another job. 
Alright guys, I got the old boiler out and I got the new boiler and I just put it up on two blocks and I did slide it back here because the other one was like way out, way out in Caddy Wampus land. So now I gotta do is, um, gotta put the return together and the supply. What I'll do on the supply is I'll just come out with a meal adapter or a short piece and I'll shoot over do the supply and tie the return in and I'll redo this gas pipe because it's going to come down on this side anyway so uh, I'll take that one inch all apart probably to, probably to here put a little piece of one inch and then come across this way with it drop it down and I can convert it over to half inch it's only half inch smoke pipe's going to come up and straight into the chimney and I'll block it in uh, fix that after it's all in the electrical's gonna have to uh, gonna have to come out here with a piece and then down, but uh, we'll take care of that. The electrical, I'll have to run a put a new box on the side. I'm not worried about that right now. I'll try to get you some shots on the piping of it. Well, that's good because access behind it and it's back quite a bit more than the other one was. So uh, it's probably back another I don't know quite a bit more. Might be able to just use this and put a bender on it and put a bend to it. Bring it down. So I give you some shots. Hey guys, on the top it's coming up um, inch and a half. So inch and a half by one couple on there. That's threaded. There's a there's also a three quarter tap in there. What I'm gonna do there is uh, I'm gonna come up. Turn up with an elbow and put the relief valve here with a drip, drip leg for the relief valve. The return, I just put um, pipe dope on these threads, it's inch and a quarter. A nipple that comes with this kit. This is a T and a bushing. I'm going to put the, uh, the drain in the end here. And I'll come up with a piece. Uh, I brought a piece from the truck here. By you know eight or ten, I'll come up with that. Put the flange. We'll put the um. We'll put the circulator on the return. Not an issue. Some of them are real cheap, but this one's okay. <sighs> what we'll do on this is we'll put a flange on here, inch and a half, and then I got a one inch one to go on top of the circulator. There's a lot of discussions where you have to put the circulator on a supply, which 99% of the ones I've seen work on are on the return. So I don't have a problem putting the circulator on the return. Not for what I do. 
the old cast iron radiators upstairs, so it's all going to be bled upstairs anyway. And if there's any air, it will get pushed upstairs into the radiators. Uh, so it's not that big, it's not going to get air bound, that's for sure. So you don't really have to worry about it too much on a system like this. I think it's pretty much all monoflow T's, I'll have to check, but I think it's all monoflow T's in this system. Give it the old gun there. I'm gonna have to give it the old gun there. interested in advertising on Angie's list. Right, so obviously this you know I'm gonna make sure the arrow's coming down this way. The arrow's coming down on the circular I'll put it in this way like that boom and uh, this will go right in here. No problem. Uh, I got a one inch one for the top, so I'll come on up coming out with a one inch male adapter. Off the top. This comes with gaskets and I also like to use the football gaskets also. That's what I like to do. I like to use both. So that first gasket goes in there like that, and then this one will be a, a backup gasket. That's I like using both. Can't go wrong with both. That's how I like to do it. Some guys just use the one. It, it, it's okay with just the one. It'll work with just a just a round one. I like to double them up. Yeah, I had pretty good luck with that. So. I'll go like that. And then the top one will be the one inch. Like that. Just tighten them up, we'll be good to go. The turn always comes down into the bottom and the boiler supply comes off the top. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so I got a one inch meal adapter. I'm gonna solder on here and I got a half inch drop here. And I need I'm gonna use for the expansion tank.
the side of them on a piece, let them cool before you put Teflon and pipe dope on it. Important. I've done like three or four of them already. I didn't show you that. But just show you one. This is going to be fine. This is going to be for the uh, expansion tank. I'll show you what I'm going to do with the expansion tank. Alright guys, so I got the supply here. I'm going to put a meal adapter. I came down. Two elbows. Three elbows. Down into the top of the boiler. I got to solder it up yet, but... Over on a gas pipe, what I did was... Uh, the gas pipe went all the way over there, and then this way I put a, a close nipple there and an elbow. And it came over, put a hanger, two 90s, and I came down here with it on this side. Because i got to go on this side with the, with the uh, gas anyway. On the expansion tank, I put a drop here, 90. Like you have inside a wall for a shower head. I'm just going to go right over. Uh, elbow and coupling. And then the expansion tank will screw right into there. This has also been all screwed in. Male adapter. You know, I saw that I male adapters on the ground. Let them cool. This has got a male adapter right here. So it's all done with copper. So I just have to solder up these joints. And solder up this. I'll show you when the tank's in place. I don't have to do the gas pipe after, but it's not that big of a deal. Coming along, you know, and then the smoke will come up and right in the chimney. Electrical on this side, electrical will come down on this side. The gas will come down here, over and in. Boom. Easy peasy. Flux pulls the solder in, so when you heat it, it pulls it in. That's how it works. All right, guys. So I came up here with the relief valve down the back. I got the return all here. Everything's. I should be ready to turn the water on. It came up. 
two elbows, male adapter. I did turn this instead of it looking down. It came this way. You can see my my, my expansion tank with a drop here, female there. I just put that little coupling and that piece over, so it fits right in there. The supply comes up. Two elbows into this here. We, we did the gas pipe. I already went over that. Which I got to do the gas pipe next. So I'm ready to um, turn the water on. I got this in. I did go upstairs and shut all the radiators off. So let's feed it in and see if we got any leaks. Next, I got to do the smoke pipe and uh, the gas and the electrical. Any, I don't have any high vents on this because uh, everything's going to get bled upstairs, the old-fashioned radiators. I don't even have monoflow tees, just regular tees. just want to make sure i got no leaks, so I... Uh, let it fill, we'll check all the joints, make sure they don't leak. Alright guys, just have to mortar that up, but I got blocks to block it up. There was a damper in here. This does have a liner in it. I was surprised, but it does. I just have to mortar that up. Oh, no leaks. I don't have any leaks, so that's good. Nothing's leaking. I just gotta go upstairs and bleed the radiators now and get the air out of it. Nothing's leaking here. I did do the smoke pipe. Three screws in each joint, so I have to do it. So I have to mortar that up, bleed the air out, and then I can do the gas pipe. We're getting there. We're getting there. I went around, these are all new bleeders. So this here, about six months ago, I guess. I had a little container, I just to bleed all the air out. A little water comes. Brass key, they don't make these anymore. Give it the old gun there. Give it the old gun there. This type of system, you have to bleed the radiators up here. You can't put purge stations in. So, I think I got seven to do. Or five or something off the column. It's taken a while. Oh, I drained the whole system out, so. I need it coming now.
So I got the heat on it set for uh, 75. So once it's once it's wired and gas pipe, it'll fire up. All right, guys. I, I took the damp. There was a barometric damper on there. I took that out of the chimney, blocked it, and I blocked this. Got it all blocked off. The wiring. I only had. Uh, I'm only using that one switch. I didn't have a single plate cover for it. I'll set that down. Got all the wiring hooked up. T stat should fire up right now. Got the gas pipe done. Came in here with uh, put a couple in there. That was 14 inches. Came in with a seven inch nipple. Three quarter by half T. Now I'm using this shut off. This gas cock's fine. Union's fine. So I'll see if this is on. And it is on. All right, should be able to turn the power on and fire it up. I'm going to pick all this stuff up yet, so. It's gonna close then reopen and it should fire. It's opening. Don't forget there's there's uh there's air in it, it might take a couple of times. Hold the fire up. Got the house turned up five degrees, so we're gonna kind of warm it up. Get some heat in the house here. Gas valve is on. Don't forget, I redid all this this gas pipe here, so you see my tank hanging there. It's right out of the way. That's a good spot for it. Pick up my stuff yet? Probably do a combustion test on this baby too. Houston, we have ignition. Right now, our temperature's way down, so I'll give it a little time and let it heat up. What's the temperature right now? Look the stuff the parameters it should be at. Yeah, Give it a little run, let it run for a little bit. It's time to come back warm. It'll take a little time to heat up now. It's a big system. She's definitely, she is chooching. I'm 
this. Print it out and we'll put a tag on it. Even a little bit more gas here. I'll show you. We'll drop the oxygen down. Bring the oxygen down and the uh, CO2 up. on the CO2 so we're good there and that brought my oxygen down a little bit to 7, 7, 8. Class 1 marine are good, stack temperature is good. Just clean to the gas valve a little bit. And that's a little bit better readings there. Now the old cast iron radiators, you can, you know, they'll heat up like to 140. That's really all you need. Uh, but if she, she's starting to chew, she's starting to, to come up to the speed here. But the old radiators don't need as much heat as the, the baseboard. This control's got an economizer. It's got a economizer there, which I shut it off. And then you got the high limit, and you got the low limit. With the high limit, probably about one. 180. 180, we want the high limit at right there. 180. Climb is off. The low limit there is set at. That's a circulator control. We've got the low limit off temperature off so it's a cold start that's it that should be fine it's only a little tiny helps here this thing will blow them away he's got a he's got a seal detector right here so I just want to make sure unless there's no batteries in it no, that's good okay so that's fine I don't need to add that Tag here. Just gonna pick up my lights and I'll be out of here. Yeah.